Hey guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is Tuesday, April 14th, 2020. I'm going to show you a video that I filmed on Sunday, April 12th, and I'd like to show you just how little traffic was out on Easter Sunday, April the 12th. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I think are some interesting things. I'm also going to be talking about eBay a little bit, so hopefully there'll be something for everybody. So let's get started. You'll notice this bridge has cashless tolls we're going through right there. This is what was once known as the Triborough Bridge and is now called the RFK Bridge. This bridge connects Manhattan to Queens. Many of you guys have been on it if you're from the East Coast here, but if not, you're on it right now. So basically I just left the South Bronx and I'm going to go out to Queens. Earlier I said this bridge linked Manhattan and Queens, but I left out the Bronx. It also links the Bronx as well. Now as you can probably tell, this whole viaduct was rebuilt a few years ago. They used concrete. And as you probably know, building any highway with concrete usually costs a lot more. There used to be passenger walkways, pedestrian walkways, on both sides of this bridge. Now they're only on one side. I'm not sure why they did away with them on the other side, but years ago I made a video where we were walking on the opposite side on the pedestrian walkway. So if you feel like scrolling back to my old videos, you can check that. The building on the right side that we're going by right now is actually a jail. This was a real treat because as you can see it's sunny out and the forecast was for rain in the afternoon but I made sure I got out early so I could enjoy some of the rare New York sunshine. The RFK bridge is a notorious bridge for speed traps. The New York State Police, State Troopers, actually started patrolling this bridge a couple of years ago up until then, it was under the auspices of the TBTA. But lately, I've been seeing mainly New York State troopers patrolling this and running radar. Up ahead, after we pass this arch, I'm going to point out a notorious speed trap spot where this guy can sit and it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Now keep your eye on the right lane there's going to be an opening coming up shortly. Right, let's see, right there, right there, where those barrels are. And that's where, more often than not, you'll see a patrol car. But you're not seeing any patrol cars now. Ever since this coronavirus pandemic broke, I don't think I've seen a single traffic stop because cops are just as scared as we are of picking up the virus you'll notice there's not a single vehicle on the RFK bridge. There was less traffic on Easter Sunday than there was on New Year's Day. This is unprecedented. I have never seen this before. We are now on the curve that links the RFK bridge with the Grand Central Parkway and the Brooklyn Queens Expressway. Up ahead I'm going to bear right and I'm going to get on the Brooklyn Queens Expressway. This section of road here, the connecting section, was also rebuilt recently and it's smooth as silk. This is part of the Robert Moses infrastructure. Oddly enough, they delineated the right lane, which I think was a big mistake. I don't know why they did that, but that used to be a travel lane that we just passed. I'm now in the exit only lane for the Brooklyn Queens Expressway and all commercial vehicles must exit here. As we get on to the Brooklyn Queens Expressway, you will notice that this highway, as well as all the others, was recently rebuilt. I gotta be honest with you, and I gotta tell you, I'm not thrilled with the way they rebuilt this Brooklyn Queens Expressway for the simple reason they made the entire decking in concrete. 
Now, even though we don't get many sunny days, the few we do get cause unwarranted sun glare. So you're going to need sunglasses if you're ever traveling on the BQE on a sunny day. One of the problems with the original design of this highway was the lack of acceleration lanes. You would get on from an entrance and there would be absolutely no error for mar excuse me, there would be no margin for error. You had to stomp that accelerator because there was no acceleration lane and that led to quite a few rear end accidents. When they redesigned this highway, as you can see, they made it a lot wider and they added acceleration lanes, which is very good. For that, I commend them. This is the Roosevelt Avenue exit here. This is not our exit. We're shooting by here. But while I'm on the subject, let's deviate for a second, since we're getting to the boring section of the Brooklyn Queens Expressway, and let's talk a little bit about eBay. eBay sales have been very, very strong for me the last few weeks, even months. And I suspect this is going to be a current trend, and I hope most of you guys enjoyed this as well. Up ahead, you'll see the highway divides. The right side is going to go to the Grand Central Parkway. The left side would go back to the RFK Bridge. We are going to go right, and we're going to get onto the Grand Central Parkway as if we were going to LaGuardia Airport, or maybe Shea Stadium, or even JFK. I'm going to terminate this video at JFK because I think that'll be long enough for you guys to see what's going on. This here is the connecting ramp that I was talking about from the BQE leading onto the Grand Central Parkway. Commercial vehicles are permitted on the BQE and on this ramp, but not on the Grand Central Parkway. There are plenty of signs warning drivers about this. If you've seen some of my older videos, there are several videos where I have shown tractor trailers illegally getting onto the Grand Central Parkway, and in some cases I can help them out, and in some cases it's too late, the cops already got them. Moving back to eBay. Sales have been very good, but I'm noticing one problem, and it's something that hasn't happened to me all that much, but it's happening this week like crazy. And the problem is, the post office is losing or misplacing many of my orders. For instance, I had one customer who lives in New Jersey who bought an item from me, which should be a very easy thing, cut and dry. I shipped from Oradell, New Jersey to his residence. And he contacted me a few days ago and said he never received the item and the tracking showed that it was sent to Maine. So I checked and sure enough, the tracking showed it was sent to Maine. Why, I'll never know, but eventually it did come back, the customer did get his item, but sadly it was way past eBay's estimated date of delivery. I don't think I will be getting a ding on my account for that, but I'm sure that if I call eBay it would get removed. Once again, jumping back to the video, on the left side, we're passing LaGuardia Airport right now, and you can see there's exactly one car on the road, right there on the right. LaGuardia Airport is still, excuse me, LaGuardia Airport is still currently going, a, going over a huge makeover, and it's causing unprecedented delays. If you're flying into or out of the New York City area, I implore you not to use LaGuardia. Use JFK if you can. Here again you can see the Grand Central Parkway was entirely rebuilt. The road is smooth as silk and the speed limit here, believe it or not, is only 50 miles an hour. It is very common to see the patrol cars sitting on the side of the road catching people. But they only go out, I think, if the person is doing over 60, because many people are doing 60 on this road. 
on the right side you're going to see a gas station right there there is the brother station on the opposite side of the road when Robert Moses designed all the parkways in New York every one included at least one gas station over the years many of these gas stations over the years many of these gas stations have been torn down sadly one that comes to mind is the one on the Henry Hudson Parkway that used to be located by the George Washington Bridge I think maybe someday I may do a video about that and just show you where it used to be and what it used to look like we're now continuing on the Grand Central Parkway and we're going to head to the Van Wyck Expressway which will in turn take us to JFK as I said earlier parkways are for cars only no trucks this is another speed zone right here it is not common to see people doing 70 miles an hour but the thing that really bums me out is when you see people doing 45 miles an hour in the left hand lane and for some reason the most common time to see it is on a Sunday I can't tell you how many times I've been on this parkway or other parkways in New York where I see people in the left hand lane doing 45 miles an hour while all the lanes to the right are empty and more often than not the driver is busy eating a McDonald's breakfast guys I am not exaggerating and I could not make this up myself they're almost always eating a McDonald's breakfast it is unbelievable occasionally they'll be texting but why do they have to be doing this in the left hand lane why can't they keep right vehicle traffic law states that the left hand lane is for passing only you must keep right by law years ago I was on Route 80 on a Sunday morning early and there was no traffic just like there is now and there was a Chevy Camaro with New York plates heading eastbound in the fast lane doing a steady 55 miles an hour a state trooper came roaring up behind him the only two cars on that stretch of highway was the Camaro with the New York plates in the left lane and the state trooper behind him in the right lane by law the Camaro should not be in the left lane because he wasn't passing anybody he should have moved over especially when you see a state trooper coming up behind you but he refused to yield to the state trooper and it so happens I was traveling the same way they were I was a little bit behind them I was on the local they were on the express and the trooper gave this guy at least three minutes with which to yield to him and he never did so finally the state trooper lit him up pulled him over and I hope he wrote him for failing to keep right that is something that really bums me out is a motorist who fails to keep right whether it be for civilian traffic or especially for trooper traffic that's just a no-no now we're approaching the famous Q Gardens interchange this is a notorious bottleneck where traffic always backs up but you won't see any traffic backing up today the Kew Gardens interchange is in the process of going over a seven-year restoration during the early stages they were rebuilding some of the ramps they were widening them they were putting fresh concrete down and they were improving drainage and that was fine but I was very sad to see they're removing a lot of these old stone archways like this one right here they're removing a lot of them and I think that's freaking criminal it's disgusting those old stone archways are original to the Robert Moses design of this highway and to replace them with boring concrete structures is unforgivable here is a good example of the concrete roadway that I hate the most that is the design of the roadway I detest this kind of roadway more than any other mainly because of the sun glare I see nothing positive in this whatsoever now as you can see see the sun glare right there that can actually cause accidents 
because sometimes traffic slows down and you can't react in time and you wind up rear-ending somebody if you're not paying attention. So always please be careful when you can. This section of roadway has been asphalted, which I think is a lot more conducive to driving. Now seriously, tell me, which highway do you find more appealing to drive on? This right here with the blacktop or the one we just came off with the concrete? I think it's a no-brainer. As I said, JFK is coming up in a couple of minutes and that's going to be the termination of the video. Guys, do you like this kind of video and do you want me to keep making more? I asked about this a couple of days ago and I read all your comments, questions and concerns. Most of you said yes, keep making more. On the left side, in the middle, those concrete pillars are holding up the JFK air train. That is a shuttle that runs directly from JFK airport. I have never been on it myself, but I passed this a thousand times. Guys, do you want to see more of this? Let me know in the comment section below. If you have any requests, I know some of you guys typed in certain areas of New York City you want me to go to, and I'll try and get to them, but I cannot promise anything. Right now, this is a very good time for me to go out filming because there's absolutely no traffic. Look at this. This is the way it was back in the 1940s, I would think. Nobody is out here. Plus, even better, I'm out of work for a while and I have time on my hands. Speaking about being out of work, this is one time where I'm very, very, very thankful to have my eBay sales. Like many of you, my eBay sales are carrying me through this tumultuous period. I'm glad to have all my customers that are now buying online, and I honestly think that the wave of the future is going to be buying online. This pandemic is going to force a lot of small businesses to close. I predict this. I see it. Some may never reopen. I consider myself, as I said, very fortunate to have my eBay sales. So yeah, JFK is the next exit on the right coming up. I'm going to bear left because I'm going out to the Bell Parkway. But yes, look up there. You can see on the sign, JFK is to the right, Bell Parkway is to the left. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I'm Crazy New York Driver and you're not. Let me know what you think in the comments section below if you have any requests for either New York City videos or eBay videos. I want you to go out there, make a ton of money on eBay, rock on, and peace. And for the love of God, don't be fishy! Ah! <laughs> Even on this video.